Welcome back, Rankers, or should I say, welcome back to me, because I'm back in Melbourne, back home, loving it. Loved New Zealand. And once again, thanks to Siobhan Bolton for organising the Marketing Now conference in Wellington, because it was immense. And if you want to follow some blogs, uh, I can, uh, on internet marketing, online marketing, uh, new marketing, whatever you want to call it, new PR, uh, online business, I would also suggest following Chris Brogan, Google him, and uh, David Meerman Scott, Google him. And if you missed last week's show, it's in last week's newsletter if you want to follow up on Twitter and also on the blog. Now, <clears throat> the, uh, the thing I wanted to talk to you quickly about this week was Google Maps. I've had a lot of people come to me and say, Jim, what's the hell's going on with Google Maps this week? This is in Australia. I'm not too sure if this is happening uh, in other countries, but certainly... Google Maps seems to have been a little bit flaky this week, more so than usual. And as I've said before, I don't think the Google algorithm for Maps has really settled down yet uh, because we're seeing a lot of spamming and that sort of stuff going on within Google Maps. Um, but apart from the few people contacting us this week and saying our Google Maps entry has disappeared from Bikes Ballarat, um, what's going on? We also found something interesting with our own Google Maps. I just happened to log into our uh, Google Maps local business centre, and this is where you can go and edit your entry about Google Maps and everything else. And I noticed that we had here, uh, these things here, uh, SEO Melbourne, awaiting verification, 1 Queens Road, Melbourne. That's not where we are. And there's another one here as well. And that's not where we are either. Then when you go and actually have a look at the entries themselves, we found that they actually belong to another SEO company, another Melbourne-based SEO company. And um, Jasmine, who um, uh, I've known for a number of years, who heads up uh, that company, she'd been having problems as well. I rang her and I said, what the hell's going on here? Because initially your, your mind goes, bloody Jasmine, she's spamming me. But of course she wasn't because she would need my... Uh, username and my uh, password to get into this and, and do this and be a, a, a very silly thing to do. Anyway, anyway, she, so she wasn't actually doing anything wrong. Um, and she hasn't done this. But what had happened to her Google Maps entry over the last week was that her Google Maps entry was displaying in Google Maps, but it was some other SEO company's phone number. So I'd be very interested to know whether anybody else out there is having similar sorts of issues. And I would su suggest you go in and, and have a look at your um, Google Maps local business center stuff and see if there's anything weird going on in there because um, we're certainly seeing a, a few weird things. And you know, the, the main change that Google Maps has gone through in the last few weeks is that, uh, if you watched the show about three or four weeks ago, is that when you say type in bikes now, it will actually then go and throw Google Maps up, which it never used to do. It only ever used to do it with uh, a geographic descriptor, a place name or a town name. It doesn't do that anymore. Uh, well, it still does do that, I should say. But it also would look at main phrases like bikes um, or you know, highly searched phrases for a particular thing that it can work out that there are shops for and then display the maps for that content. Um, so that's the major change that's happened with Google Maps over the last three or four weeks. So whether something about that change is also changing something about the Google Maps entries themselves and Google's not aware of it, we don't know. But um, go and check your Google Maps entry. <clears throat> okay, the uh, other thing I want to quickly show you this week was uh, I brought this show uh, from New Zealand last week where we talked about um, Google Site Links. And this is where you do a search now and you get all these other links in underneath your entry in um, Google, providing that your site um, has enough information on it and has enough strong enough themes within it that Google can actually put these links within uh, your um, result in the search engine pages. Now, this is how it would look normally. If Google's doing something within these links in your search entry, what you can go and do is come into the Google Webmaster Tools and block a certain section or say, no, I don't really want that section to appear. Like, I probably should block work choice, but I like causing trouble. So uh, we're going to leave that there. 
Uh, but the other thing that uh, if you haven't been using with Google Webmaster Tools, which you really should take a look at, is under the links section in Google Webmaster Tools, this pages with external links. It will then list all the pages within your site that have links from the outside, and it will actually list those links. So previously where, um, you know, the only tools we've really had uh, to find out what sort of backlinks have really been in Yahoo, um, because Yahoo will tell you all the backlinks it knows about for your site. Google <coughs> hasn't ever really done it. You, can always, you could have always typed in link colon web address, but, you know, according, as Cameron Bailey here pointed out to us the other week, he said that, well, Matt Cutts, which is uh, one of the, the Google senior engineer, pointed out, if you type link colon your web address into Google, it's only going to return a random sample of links. It won't return um, every link that it knows about because it's not your site or it doesn't know that it is your site. However, if you set up a Google Webmaster Tools account, come in, have a look, verify, do all the verification stuff that you have to do with Google Webmaster Tools, it will tell you everything it knows about your site, which is really, really handy. Um, so go and have a look at that, check that out, and, uh, and what, it, you, what you can also do too is to find out whether some of these links are pointing to broken pages or um, you didn't have as many links as you thought, or maybe some of the sites that you thought you had links from are dropping off, you can go and fix that. Really, really handy to get a reality check of what Google knows about your site. And that is it for this week's show. Remember, if you do have questions for the show, shoot them to me via Twitter, and we'll, we'll do them in the show. Next week, we're going to uh, bring you one from um, a couple of questions about Google product search, which is really, really interesting, especially if you have um, a lot of products on your site for sale that uh, can be packed and shipped. So we'll look at that next week. And uh, if, in case you've forgotten where to reach me on Twitter, it's at Jim Boot. Thanks very much, and we'll see you next week. Bye.